Hi, I'm Diane St. Jean. I'm the librarian at Barrington Middle School. The Silence Between Us by Alison Gervais is one of the new books on the new Isinglass Teen Read List. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, and maybe you'll decide that this is a book you're interested in reading. If you've ever had to move to a new town, you know how hard it can be adjust to adjust to a new school. Well, this is how Maya sees it. Right before her senior year, her mother moves the family from the East Coast to Colorado. And that's bad enough. It's hard enough to adjust to a new place. But for the past several years, Maya has been attending the Pratt School for the Deaf. And now she's about to enroll in Engelman High School, a hearing school. So on the first day of school, she does have an interpreter with her. But it's very frustrating because she realizes that Many of her classmates are talking about her and not with her. And she even has one teacher who shouts at her as if that's going to do any good. So by the time she gets home, she's exhausted. She decides that evening that she's going to FaceTime her friend Melissa from her old school, Pratt. Melissa and I spend the next half hour catching up. As we were signing, it was almost like I hadn't moved, and I was back in my old bedroom in New Jersey, procrastinating doing my homework with Melissa. She promised me we would FaceTime again after her first day back at Pratt, which wasn't until next week, and fill me in on everything I missed. It was 11 o'clock East Coast time by the time Melissa and I signed off. I hated saying goodbye, but I still had homework to finish. And even though getting to see her face made me feel better, it somehow made me feel worse, too. Our call reminded me that I had left so much behind in New Jersey, a life that had been happy and comfortable and full of people who understood me. If my first day at Engelman had proven anything, it was that I was completely, utterly different from everyone else, and there was no chance that was going to change. There is a boy that she meets on the first day, and I'm going to read a little bit about him. And then there's Bo Watson, Engelman's student body president and overachiever. Maya suspects Bo's got a hidden agenda when he starts learning sign language to converse with her. But she also can't deny it's nice to sign again with someone in a school otherwise filled with hearing teachers and classmates. Deaf and hearing relationships never work, Maya keeps telling herself. Yet, she can't help but be drawn to Bo. So if this makes you curious, the Silence Between Us is available at your local library. It's also available on Overdrive, the Libby app, as an audiobook and as an ebook. And it's available on Hoopla as an audiobook and an ebook.